A Forevermore Dunce, by James Martin Driscoll, of San Bernardino, California, the divided states of America, the Earth. February 11, 2019. Written source origin, http colon slash slash grew up net peace building website dot business dot site. 34 degrees 09, 03.7, north 117 degrees 18 minutes 40.1 seconds west. Great reasons this will unite peace. I am a gravely concerned citizen of the United States of America and an affected individual as a person living with HIV, AIDS since September 1999 with an AIDS symptomatic diagnosis with an initial T-cell count of 156. An almost 20 years continuous presence plight from hate from the leadership's source of the HIV leadership directors. The identified source hater collective elites. It is not me for sure. It is definitely you and them that must change. To the administration leadership directors and donation funders of contributors of the Colorado Health Network aka Denver Colorado AIDS Project, Rocky Mountain Cares in Denver Colorado, Desert AIDS Project in Palm Springs California Regional Service Area, Cascade AIDS Project of the Portland Service Area and of course returned concern and care of my very hometown of San Bernardino where it is now an infamously known place that you hold operations of the Foothill AIDS Project in the Inland Empire Regional Service Area in 2019. Further, that multitude of other coveralls to every single Ryan White Care Act funded social service agencies totality across our entire nation and the governmental administration oversight in the HIV.gov, HRSA.gov, and the HIV AIDS Caucus of Congress Committee. Now is the time to pay attention, open your ears to listen, open your eyes to see, and open your minds to relate to this message that is directly relevant for you and to you now. This is not a request but a demand for these words from me for you to get up if you are laying down sleeping and pay attention to its meaning get a clue, there is no more time for delay. There are no more excuses that you can possibly put nuisance against yourself and respect of your silence holding to not be paying attention to these meanings. Don't insult my intelligence and embarrass yourself by telling me yesterday, now today, or any future new day that there is not a conspiracy here that you all have been following to a reverence holy allegiance to the hate that is made in your wake. Who do you pay homage to? Who preaches or reverence your guidance to create this outrageous feeling in our social order of ways? What is his individual name? Out him to the behind the scenes conspiracy of secrets. Tell me his or her name or names. I demand it, I demand it, I demand it now or fuck you and burn in the hell of all hells to the end of all infinite days, flames, fire, brimstone, gore and guts will be your dealings when you finally succumb to die a glorious death and depart this planet earth for the very last time. Your flames are a calling you to rot in slime, time, and it may just be this rhyme that you can't find a dime to pay the ferryman to abort the river sticks, you will never have anything to carry yourself back to this other side. You will have shit stuck to your face that has been put there with the permanence of epoxy and you can't ever get it off, erase it, or make it smell any nicer than the human feces of shit that you keep wiping on you and your associates' faces. It is there for anyone and everyone to see you fall from grace will be your social services case that there will be no cleanup in aisle number 5. You take a dive and did not survive. You better be planning a time never ending stay in hell for what you defend here. It would be better to turn around now before it is hella too late. I demand to know the name of my adversary WHO is so coward to have his flock of followers to do his evil bidding, you are not free. You are just slaves to your predictability. Define, fear. Define, scary. Define, malice. Define, nonfeasance. Define, turpitude. These five words collectively here is the bomb 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 with lit fuse representing oblivion mega divisions of the hate holding deceit and its strangeness of all extensions of hypocrisy that has been left unfettered to collapse family, friends, neighbors, community, onto the city districts and out to the city limits. It can't be sequestered, can't be challenged, can't be told and said, can't be released, can't be undone, can't be made whole and right, and can't halt or stop it or bust it out to become nullified to a state of proper order of creative making days. No, we can't do that because of your obstinate and offensive privilege that you seem to wreak your rights of passage through this stray of time to rightfully you say to just look down and out twisted to be blocking out the brightness like you're darkening it to the blackest of all blacks that you are actually putting on a black face of identity masking and won't get out of the fucking way. You replace racial black African American empowerment validity by this evil black and valid voids that you can't, you can't hold, you can't retain this mold, it is not going to hold the batter of matter anymore. Years fucked up human way is out permeating our county by county resources which usually has no political clout to place funding into the losses crosses and mosses of overruns on the expenses spreadsheet for there is definitely an endless and bottomless pit that has no reckoning of a bottom line of any kind. Reckoning. Reckoning. Reck. E. Ning. Noun. The action or process of calculating or estimating something. Last year was not by any reckoning, a particularly good one. Synonyms, calculation, estimation, computation, working out, summation, counting, more a person's view, opinion, or judgment. 
by ancient reckoning, bacteria are plants. Synonyms, opinion, view, judgment, evaluation, way of thinking, estimate, estimation, appraisal. Consideration, by her reckoning, it was high time her luck changed. Archaic a bill or account, or its settlement. Plural noun, reckonings. Instead of that, right bearing course, you hold a dark evil twisted devil of a hand of cards covered by deception to a limitless pit of darkness muck, yuck to have no limit on evil pounding stop me, stop me, stop me before it is too fucking late. Words, thoughts, ideas, plans, means, and ways and memes and memetics go on your offense and defensive posturing of deaf minds and deaf eyes and blind eyes and blind brains of any common rational thinking senses. You all are stuck in a gutter muck and it is collapsing right before yourself and you will not get out of the scheme to get out of the way of the collapsing walls, you will die first before you make it known you have moral guidance after all and won't let it take you down when it crashes and burns and kills every life force person that is standing in the fucking way of progress to fix it, mend it, bend it, break it, rust it, dust it, or take a sledgehammer and smash it to smithereens. That one can, would, should or could just blasts through these invisible railings of the hate paradigm bias, bigotry, racism, annihilation of government-sponsored hate level tier paradoxes paradigms of such an unspeakable invisible interface carriers forward to our breakage, dissemination and dismissal of our naturalized citizen inalienable civil and societal rights bestowed upon us from our country's year 1776 foundation since the Declaration of Independence. This said is of our collective liberty, justice, steadfast freedoms, and its illusion that you hide the bleak standing continued that it is or was or can be or will be within the reach of any collective, group, organization, or pastime interest to the pursuits of happiness by one, by one plus one, by one plus a few, by a few pluses more, or a majority class of a implied observation moral class of moral responsibility to protect pursuits of any kind of a collective wealth building, health maintaining and standing way. These obstacles bears our individual and collective community death instead of life thriving long everlasting to old age and retired disease. We have the right to live not to die from your extreme incompetence, your liability of gross negligence, and outright plain and simply identified and weighed here your asinine stupidity. Obesti nate. Obstinate. Abstinate. Adjective. Stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or chosen course of action, despite attempts to persuade one to do so. Synonyms, stubborn, headstrong, willful, unyielding, inflexible, unbending, intransigent, intractable, obdurate, mulish, stubborn as a mule, pig-headed, bull-headed, self-willed, strong-minded, strong-willed, contrary, perverse, recalcitrant, refractory, incooperative, unmanageable, cross-grained, stiff-necked, stiff, rigid, steely, iron-willed, incompromising, implacable, relentless, unrelenting, unpersuadable, immovable, unmalleable, unshakable, inexorable, with one's toes, feet dug in, persistent, persevering. Tenacious, pertinacious, dogged, single-minded, adamant, firm, steadfast, determined, more, of an unwelcome phenomenon or situation, very difficult to change or overcome. The obstinate problem of unemployment. Truth altered mind bending web presence, https colon slash slash denver dash colorado dash aids dash project dot business dot site. Denver Colorado AIDS Project hashtag conspiracy exposed terminates OSIP. Denver Colorado AIDS Project. Wellness program in Denver. With Glassdoor former employee reviews in view, how can wellness be the goal mission of excellence? Fear. Fear. Fur. Noun. 1. An unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain, or a threat. He is prey to irrational fears. Synonyms, terror, fright, fearfulness, horror, alarm, panic, agitation, trepidation, dread, consternation, dismay, distress. Verb. 1. Be afraid of, someone or something, is likely to be dangerous, painful, or threatening. Farmers fear that they will lose business. Synonyms, be afraid of, be fearful of, be scared of, be apprehensive of, dread, live in fear of, go in terror of, be terrified of, be terrified by, cower before, tremble before, cringe from, shrink from, flinch from, be anxious about, worry about, panic about, feel consternation about, have forebodings about, feel apprehensive about, inform in a blue funk about. I fear the bullies who taunted me. Have a phobia about, have a horror of, have a dread of, shudder at, take fright at. He fears heights and open spaces. Scar Y. Scary. Scur. Ejective informal. Frightening, causing fear. A scary movie. Synonyms, frightening, scaring, hair-raising, terrifying, petrifying, spine-chilling, blood-curdling, chilling, horrifying, alarming, appalling, daunting, formidable, fearsome, nerve-wracking, unnerving. Uncannily striking or surprising. It was scary the way they bonded with each other. Malice. Malice. Males. Noun. The intention or desire to do evil, ill will. I bear no malice toward anybody. Synonyms, spitefulness, spite, malevolence, maliciousness, animosity, hostility, ill will, ill feeling, hatred, hate, bitterness, venom, vindictiveness, vengefulness, revenge, malignity, malignance, evil intentions, animus, enmity, devilment, devilry, bad blood, backbiting, gall, rancor, spleen, grudge.
law, wrongful intention, especially as increasing the guilt of certain offenses. Non-feasance. 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 Noun law. Failure to perform an act that is required by law. Turpitude. Turpitude. Turpti, y, oad. Noun formal. Depravity, wickedness. Acts of moral turpitude. Synonyms, wickedness, immorality, depravity, corruption, corruptness, vice, degeneracy, evil, baseness, iniquity, sinfulness, vileness, rare nefariousness, flagidiousness. Acts of moral turpitude. What say you? How do you respond to a response of responsibility to the meaning of these words? These words were written February 11, 2019 and demand your attention if not for the offense that could be said. Is made if you dare to file a complaint to the magistrate of a court process of such said offense or harassment against the creator of this passage today. You cannot pass these words by and just forget them and carry on with your day. They are words designed, in mimetic intelligence to not be able to be lost to a forgotten memory. These words that are a fire blazing to etch and scar them into the structures of your mind and the moral agency and moral responsibility of the meme-to-meme exchange technology of scientific understanding. This technology puts these written words onto a page that you read and demands. The force of sound brilliance vibrations to form sounds that hit your ears and blare and clear and blow out. The blockage in your eardrums that is so dangerous to hold this blockage against the community. This structure of words is for your healing heart to barrier wise to create your day to never be able to say it. For yourself. I dunno, da, dumbfounded to find a response of words to reply. I don't know why, but. I, 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 I certainly am not stealing the show of glory anymore. I am showing myself to be a forevermore dunce. Really. Silence. That silence demands to be disturbed. Your silence in these matters gives me the consent to publish with individual names shining. You all need to be outcased, outcursed, outcoursed, outmasked. And carried away into embarrassment from all of the masses. The opportunity of forgiveness is bestowed upon you, if only, and only if you hold a guilty path of remorse, confession, and repentance, and fill in the hate voids with the deliverance of love hard to be the ends of a new social order standard of virtue for adaptive thinking and inset action of social correctiveness. We must, we can't say no, I can't say no. You can't say no. You can't beg mercy to silence the need. No, you can't stay there to a deafening silence to do and say and proclaim no you will not go and come into your duty willingly. You will fight scratch and claw your way of holding a secret to your dying breath, never to say. Yes, release me from this burden of hate please. Yes is yes and its opposite showing light is. No, 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 no upchucked, intolerable, unacceptable. I demand you to know why and to do why you must change. I demand your participation. For anything less than of the African Adenkra symbol meaning of NSAA of excellence of authenticity. Genuineness is a patchwork of failures that can't be said no, not at this level of this over the edge of truth. And the consequences. The community of unity deserves much much better than this. You can't decline my invite here. You can go on without your role, leadership, dealings, and readings. You can't lie yourself away around the never bearing bracing corner of your obligations here to hold yourself head high strong and wise and shine out the dark forevermore. If you attempt to hold the dark of hate, I will pursue legal means to oust your control hold powers here, because you are not an expert at health but skillful at dealings within a system of hate. Not on my watch. Burn in hell if you must. Resign from your job position. Terminations of your jobs and hold of tenure. Resign your job position and quit. Do not pass go. Do not collect that $100 of your retirement pensions. Move aside, perhaps go directly to jail. Get out of the fucking way so that someone else can brave the courage factors that you are cowardly to take the reins. And do something great, grand, correct, and right for a fucking change. Please mercy 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 go fucking away. Or unite a peace building reconciliation and empowerment of hashtag Patapo into your focus of reality. Do it now or never say it was not within your reach but you did not listen. And you deserve your fall from grace. You deserve your calling fate. Good fucked up human bye. Find yourself passing by crazy world future words by in the mind way. Written at Wikiworld, audio spoken voice narrative delivered by Mac Pond, or watch it at YouTube and get a clue. Hashtag conspiracy exposed crazy world future words. How the soon future immoral actions might affect you. 99 views. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. B equals V5 WQ6 RTDA and T equals O. The future of moral truth and responsibility is here, time for you to pay attention and get on board and change. Skip Marley. Lions. Some said, never, but the never done come. Yeah, and took our trust. Hate's been winning, but the lovers ain't done. Yeah, not on my watch. Yeah, if ya took all my rights away. Yeah, if ya tellin' me how to pray. Yeah, if ya won't let us demonstrate.
Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, if ya thinking I don't belong. Yeah, if ya hiding behind a gun. Yeah, if ya hoping we're gonna run. Ya wrong. We are the lions, we are the chosen. We gonna shine out the dark. We are the movement, this generation. You better know who we are, who we are. Yeah, if I. Some said, fire, when the fire was ice. No, and sold a lie. Some may buy it, I'm not paying the price. No, not in this life. Yeah, if ya took all my rights away. Yeah, if ya telling me how to pray. Yeah, if ya won't let us demonstrate. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, if ya thinking I don't belong. Yeah, if ya hiding behind a gun. Yeah, if ya hoping we're gonna run. Ya wrong. We are the lions, we are the chosen. We gonna shine out the dark. We are the movement, this generation. You better know who we are, who we are. Deep down in everyone, there's a little fire. Let me get higher, I'll fuel the fire. Already high up, I'll take you higher. Real Conga Naya, girls admire, well. Living, we growing with pride. All of the lions, we strive. Working so hard to unite. United, we tired of lies, tired of lies. We are the lions, we are the chosen. We gonna shine out the dark. We are the movement, this generation. You better know who we are. We are the lions, we are the chosen. We gonna shine out the dark. We are the movement, this generation. You better know who we are. Yeah, you know that some said, never, but the never done come. We gonna shine out the dark. Oh, they know that hate's been winning, but the lovers ain't done. You better know who we are. Yeah, if I. Writers. Ilya, Savan Harish Kotecha, Skip Marley, Skip Marley Minto. Introduction to Standard V5N1 by Marlon Riggs. HTTP colon slash slash resources dot grew up dot net slash Colorado dot adu slash Marlon Riggs. Introduction to Standards V5N1. Introduction to Standards V5N1 by Marlon Riggs. Americans have always been more and at the same time less than what we pretended. With the quickening approach of the 21st century, greater numbers of us are giving testament to this inescapable fact, challenging the cozy myths by which America has been ritually defined. Who are we? Who are we becoming? Who and what have we been? In the next century, can we even continue to speak, could we ever? Of a collective, we. For the longest, of course, these questions had simple answers. America was white. America was male. America was heterosexual. America was Christian. America, above all, was a melting pot into which diverse cultural communities gleefully descended to achieve the social and ideological transformation necessary for inclusion within the American dream. That many of us marginalized and oftentimes invisible Americans of African, Asian, Latino and Native descent, as well as women and the working poor never quite melted and metamorphosized according to this traditional prescription for social progress, hardly mattered. The great distance between the dream and our actual lives was not due to any fault in the dream, the defect was in us. The dream thus survived intact, its seductive power sustained by America's stubborn refusal to look too closely at the hidden but terrible costs of the good life, and at who actually could much less wanted to afford it. The 60s, of course, spotlighted the complex oppressive regime of thought, politics and culture which underlay the myth of America. For the first time in U.S. history, the ideological fabric of white heterosexual patriarchy was exposed for the life-constricting straitjacket it had always been. Despite conservative attempts during subsequent years at repair, the old social fabric has been steadily unraveling. Thus we have arrived at this present moment, wherein a nation historically averse to serious introspection now exhibits in its politics and popular media as well as its universities an almost obsessive reflexive preoccupation with our national identity. To be expected, much of the current debate is simply a rehash of old opinion and attempt to forcefully rebut and undercut the decentering politics of radical multiculturalism, i.e., the kind of multiculturalism where difference actually makes a differee and see. Bring back the melting pot. Restore traditional values. Re-institute prayer in schools. Preserve the primacy of Western civilization, the only one that matters anyway. And not least, protect that critical bedrock of American greatness, the American family. Such pronouncements reveal an intense, even pathological desire to perpetuate a thoroughly obsolete myth of America, and through this, a repressively orthodox system of sociocultural entitlement. While the ideas of conservative, fundamentalist America are hardly new, the typically strident pitch with which such ideas are now being argued betrays how acutely anxious many conservatives have come to feel, due to both real and anticipated loss of privilege and power. What is more, arch-conservative rhetoric as should be evident to anyone watching our presidential elections for the past quarter century has found a certain public resonance. Difference, in the traditionalist outlook, has been regressively equated with disunity, and disunity with profound social chaos and collapse. Just as nature abhors a vacuum, so, it seems, do many Americans with regard to the social-political myths by which they organize and make sense of their lives. Even a fundamentally flawed, repressive, inequitable social order seems to many better than none at all. 
A clear imperative thus confronts American progressives that intricate, and frequently fragile, web of communities comprised of people of color, feminists, gays and lesbians, the poor and working class, as well as ethnic whites who value ethnicity, indeed all who have been systematically disenfranchised and dehumanized under the once ascendant, traditional values, of pre-civil rights America. It's no longer enough, if it ever was, to critique interlocking systems of oppression without offering affirming alternatives of how society should and can reconstitute itself. As we move into the inevitably more demanding multilingual, multicultural environment both nationally and globally of the next, this, century, our greatest task will be an inversion of the commonly assumed equivalence between difference and disunity. We must rewrite this equation, demonstrating again and again that unity does not require unanimity, that unity that is, a sense of social cohesion, of community can and does derive from the expression, comprehension, and act of nurturing, and not merely tolerance or fetishization, of difference. This is the new standard of civilized life that now demands our urgent labor, a new world order, if you will, that subverts traditional conceptions of social order, a standard which in effect subverts the meaning of the word, standard, itself. For the new order must be comprised of multiple standards, shifting, open-ended, dynamically transforming, so as to engender ways of thinking and living that privilege no one set of cultural differences over another but affirm virtue in all. This perspective forms the key inspiration and overarching theme in standards. Page after page eloquently testifies to the commitment of a new generation of America's best and brightest to shaping a radically redefined vision of our future, where old repressive dualisms of race, class, sexuality, gender and nationality no longer reign a future in which not merely some but all of us are free to explore and express our richest humanity. Marlon Riggs. Oakland, 1992. Marlon T. Riggs was a producer, director, and writer, who graduated with honors from Harvard in 1978, and received the M.A. from UC Berkeley, where he later taught documentary film in the Graduate School of Journalism. His films include Tongues Untied, the acclaimed account of black gay male life, and ethnic notions, for which he was awarded the Emmy. Mr. Riggs' work has been published in the anthology Brother to Brother, as well as in arts and literary magazines, including High Performance, Black American Literature Forum, and Art Journal. A media activist, he testified before the U.S. Senate, and wrote extensively on the issue of censorship. Ms. Eriggs was also on the policy committee of the National PBS, and served on various other panels, including the National Endowment for the Arts. Marlon T. Riggs died of AIDS-related complications in 1994. We remember him with deepest respect and admiration. Riggs' final film, Black Is. Black Ain't, was shown across the nation, to much acclaim. Introduction to Standards, B5N1, Copyright 1992, 1995 by Marlon T. Riggs. Standards at Colorado.edu. The Sound of Silence. By Disturbed. Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain. Still remains. Within the sound of silence. In restless dreams I walked alone. Narrow streets of cobblestone. Neat the halo of a street lamp. I turned my collar to the cold and damp, when my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light, that split the night, and touched the sound of silence, and in the naked light I saw, 10,000 people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, people hearing without listening, people writing songs that voices never share, and no one dared, disturb the sound of silence, fools, said I, you do not know, silence like a cancer grows, hear my words that I might teach you, take my arms that I might reach you, but my words, like silent raindrops fell, and echoed in the wells of silence, and the people bowed and prayed, to the neon god they made, and the sign flashed out its warning, in the words that it was forming, and the sign said, the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls, and tenement halls, and whispered in the sounds of silence, year, 2015, written by Paul Simon, lyrics copyright Universal Music Publishing Group, lyrics licensed and provided by Lyricfind, Disturbed is an American rock band from Chicago, Illinois, the band formed in 1996 when musicians Dan Donegan, Steve Fuzz Kimmick, and Mike Wengren hired David Draymond as their singer. Since the band's formation, they have sold over 13 million albums worldwide, making them one of the largest grossing metal, rock bands in recent years. The band has released five studio albums, four of which have consecutively debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. The band went into an indefinite hiatus in October 2011. Common Use Information Interface Functions HTTP colon slash slash 5150.fuckeduphuman.net HTTP colon slash slash about.fuckeduphuman.net HTTP colon slash slash emoji.fuckeduphuman.net HTTP colon slash slash notify.fuckeduphuman.net Ryan Whitecare ACT funded social services. National Federal Service Area, region to region.
http colon slash slash ryan dash white dash care dash act dot fucked up human dot net contact email address ryan dash white dash care dash act at fucked up human dot net regional service area denver colorado first agency colorado health network aka denver colorado aids project http colon slash slash colorado health network dot fucked up human dot net http colon slash slash colorado dash health dash network dot fucked up human dot net http colon slash slash denvercap dot fucked up human dot net contact email address colorado health network at fucked up human dot net staff person named first middle last binding case manager in position 25 plus years http colon slash slash angela elizabeth keady dot fucked up human dot net second agency rocky mountain cares denver colorado http colon slash slash rocky mountain cares dot fucked up human dot net http colon slash slash rocky dash mountain dash cares dot fucked up human dot net contact email address rocky mountain cares at fucked up human dot net hiv provider care doctor university of colorado health http colon slash slash doctor dash nancy dash ellen dash mattinger dot fucked up human dot net hiv aid specific housing chesney clane john apartments denver colorado Asterisk asterisk filed for eviction, November 30, 2016, World AIDS Day Eve asterisk asterisk asterisk. HTTP colon slash slash Chesney Kalane John Apartments dot fucked up human dot net. Contact email address Chesney Kalane John Apartments at fucked up human dot net. HIV, AIDS specific housing, Pillar Property LLC, Denver, Colorado. HTTP colon slash slash Pillar Property LLC dot fucked up human dot net. Contact email address Pillar Property LLC at fuckedupwoman.net. Staff person named first, middle, last, binding, property manager. HTTP colon slash slash Jennifer dash and dash Matic dot fucked up human dot net. Regional service area, Inland Empire, San Bernardino, California. HTTP colon slash slash Futhilates project dot fucked up human dot net. HTTP colon slash slash Fapinfo dash org dot fucked up human dot net. HTTP colon slash slash fapinfo dot fucked up human dot net. Contact email address Futhilates project at fucked up human dot net. Staff person named first, middle, last, binding, executive director, da boss. HTTP colon slash slash maritza dash tona dash foothill dash aids dash project dot fucked up human dot net. Staff person named first, middle, last, binding, case manager, mental health therapist. HTTP colon slash slash Michael dash Ray dash Maynard dot fucked up human dot net. HTTP colon slash slash Michael dash R dash Maynard dot fucked up human dot net. HTTP colon slash slash Michael dash Maynard dash foothill dash aids dash project dot fucked up human dot net. Staff person named first, middle, last, binding, mental health program director. HTTP colon slash slash Jennifer dash and dash Brahma dot fucked up human dot net. HTTP colon slash slash Jennifer dash Brahma dash Foothill dash AIDS dash project dot fucked up human dot net. San Bernardino Public Health Ryan White Program Administrator. Staff person named first, middle, last, binding, county oversight. HTTP colon slash slash Bonnie dash Jean dash flippin dot fucked up human dot net. Contact email address Bonnie dash Jean dash flippin at fucked up human dot net. Regional service area Palm Springs, California, seeking hate free relocation. HTTP colon slash slash desertates project dot fucked up human dot net. Contacts. Sue Lowe, digital content manager. Michael Muller, patient experiences manager. In an effort to seek out difference to what I received, I attempted to contact out of my area for possible relocation into a different regional service area that establishes its independence of this conspiracy to be hater free. Desert AIDS project fails with the endpoint outcome of a five or so week Twitter DM. A conversation between myself and Sue Lowe, digital content manager. Noted questions, comments, email address, desertades project at fuckedupwoman.net. See save Twitter DM chat archive file, has spoken voice text narrative interface. DM chat.html, started June 15, 2018 through August 10, 2018. References at Glassdoor Negative Outlook Employee Review October 20, 2015. If you have integrity for the AIDS patient, go elsewhere. Regional Service Area, Portland, Oregon Regional Service Area.
HTTP colon slash slash cascade aids project dot fucked up human dot net. This is a spoken voice Contact transcript of a queer address, direct cascade message PM, projected fucked channel up human dot net. In reference to an October of 2015, a plus or negative Sulo, outlook review. Digital content manager for Desert Aids Project Palm Springs. Why declare as a detailed account Ryan of the greater Act, regional service cause and area. effect the foundation business structured operations model embedded in the social services agencies that is an exposed conspiracy that is installed to the Ryan White Care. Act systemic problem nationally region to region. See collective Glassdoor negative outlook employee reviews data set researched. Region to region. HTTP colon slash slash webdomains dot dot net slash glassdoor dot com slash hiv dash aids dash services dash organizations dash employer views slash. End of February 11, 2019 message for corrective adaptive thinking and implementation of a working plan. Of the hate paradigm interface between Ryan White Care Act funded social service or agencies and clients. That is a very much an extreme dysfunctional working model that needs to be changed ASAP. Community Peace Building Address 01. With words of Pope Francis Address to United States Congress September 2015. Spiral Heart Hashtag All Lives Matter QR Image. This is Community Peace Building Address. HTTP colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash 06 slash. HTTP colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash 06 a slash. Introducing Hashmacta.pond. Artificial intelligence wisdom wise social actor, morality agent. HTTP colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash 08 slash. See, basic human needs main information index page. HTTP colon slash slash awesome chromobone playroom dot school slash basic human needs. HTTP colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net. Main peace building index page. Use the index page better support formatted. HTTP colon slash slash QR dot grew up dot net slash community slash QR dash persuasive dash technology dot HTML. HTTP colon slash slash grew up dot net slash it grew up 2013 logo percent 5B border percent 5D percent A9 dot JPG. HTTP colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash quality dash over dash quantity slash. Seeking quality trust building network ASSOC members. It's about stating your real intentions and following through with those intentions with no hidden agendas. HTTP colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash words dash to dash live dash by. Art thou dejected, is thy mind overcast. To chase thy gloom, go fix some weighty truth. Chain down some passion, do some generous good. Teach ignorance to see, or grief to smile. Correct thy friend, befriend thy greatest foe. Be just in all things, make amends. For follies past, and, with warm heart. Forgive, and be forgiven. Let work not words, thy virtue prove, go act as well as prate, and then thy counsels will be strong, thy reprimands avail, and on the province of the historian is to gather the threads of the past ere they elude forever his grasp and weave them into a harmonious web to which the art preservative may give immortality. Therefore he who would rescue from fast gathering oblivion the deeds of a community and send them on to futurity in an imperishable record should deliver a plain unvarnished tale. 1 2 http colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash persuasive dash technology slash see page persuasive technology expanded index page creamages http colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash computing dash and dash moral dash responsibility slash http colon slash slash community dot grew up dot net slash information dash privacy dash and dash cyberspace dash transaction slash if you would like to donate contributions to this mission work here, please use this link. PayPal pool, hash chromobone dash the dot good. Community trust network associates listed on. HTTP colon slash slash meme dot grew up dot net slash percent 23 chromobone dash the dot good slash. HTTPS colon slash slash PayPal dot me slash pool slash C slash 88 LTD 48 GQ. At end February 11th, 2019, 156 PM. Written source origin. HTTP colon slash slash grew up net peace building website dot business dot site. 34 degrees 09, 03.7, north 117 degrees 18 minutes 40.1 seconds west. San Bernardino, California, USA, planet Earth. Great reasons this will unite peace.